It seems like the XL Bully Ban is going to be coming in by the end of the year. We're really devastated about this. At the moment, there's lots of misinformation about that. So I'm here to just clarify what's going to be happening, what we know so far, and what you can do to help your dog in preparation for the ban. All XL Bully types are going to have to be muzzled in public spaces. We know that they're going to have to be on lead. So far, there isn't a specific lead restriction, usually with the breed legislation. If your dog is exempt, it can be on any length lead. If your dog has been de reported to be dangerous, it will be a two metre lead. So most dogs could be on any length lead, which is good news for us. The other thing is that you're going to have to neuter your dog. They're going to have to be registered and you're going to have some kind of liability insurance. So far, this is what has been given out by the government. I've seen some things about apparently XL bullies not being able to live in council homes or XL bullies not being able to live with kids. As far as I'm aware, none of that information is true. So just try and stick to what we know for sure. The thing that I'm concerned about right now is what this is going to mean for other types of bully breeds. The way breed legislation works at the moment with pit bulls is it's done purely by measurements. It's got nothing to do with the actual DNA of the dog. So you could have an XL bully that's got the same measurements as a pit bull and you're going to end up that dog being taken away. What we do need to do is really start thinking about how we can prepare our bully breeds for this ban. One of the most important things that you should be thinking about at the moment is muzzle training your dog. I know that it's really saddening because a lot of you out there have really friendly dogs that don't need to be on a muzzle. The only good news is, is that you've got a few months to really try and prepare your dog for this. You can't expect them to just happily wear a muzzle with no prior training. That's usually when they start to really hate the muzzle and you end up with lots of conflicts around the muzzle. Get yourself a muzzle. You might even want to get two so you can get a slightly larger size so that you can train with that and that's going to be easier for your dog to cope with. Have a check out of some videos of working with a trainer so that you can know how to prepare your dog for wearing the muzzle and it can be something that your dog is comfortable with and they feel happy to wear. The other thing that we're really going to have to consider is loose lead walking and calm socialization. Unfortunately, your dog does not have to do anything dangerous to be reported. Even if your dog just jumps up at a child, jumps up at someone in a really friendly way, someone can report that as being dangerous or out of control. So we have to be really careful about our dog's behavior and make sure that they can one, loose lead walk, two, pass dogs and people safely, three, ignore distractions around them. With these couple of months that you have left, really make sure that you start to nail these things. If you've got a puppy, if you've got an adult dog, you're gonna have to go through this training. You really need to make sure that your dog is safe in public, not just by your eyes, because you know your dog's safe, but in the eyes of the public. So this is our main priority right now. We at Royvon are gonna be working on some exclusive content for bully owners. We wanna make sure that we can help you guys as much as possible, that we can help you with your training so that we can show everyone how amazing these dogs are.